Go on, depress us. How bad is the pace of extinction? It's a thousand to ten thousand times faster than what happened before humans came. And biologists estimate that if we don't do something about it, that rate of destruction, that we could lose half the species of plants and animals on Earth by the end of the century. And what would that mean? Well, it would mean that we would be a much weaker planet. Humanity would have a much poorer life base because we depend on them to purify our water, to keep regenerating the soil, to pollinate our plants. See what happened when just the honeybee mm. took a dip. It threw a panic into uh, a lot of uh, the agricultural industry. We depend on them for everything. I mean, the very air we breathe. What do you comes say to them. those to those who would say, "Look, this is part of uh, this is part of human progress. We have to go out and and create greater wealth for ourselves. We have to chop down the trees in order to to make money and get by and enhance our communities and do whatever we need to do. And we'll find technological solutions to whatever the byproducts of our industrialization are." Well, um, if that's progress, I want none of it. <laughs> it's also extremely dangerous. You know, it's very much uh, the human family is uh, uh, in destroying its natural resources. It's inheritance. That's what it is. The living world is something we've inherited as a as humanity, uh, as a whole of humanity. And it's sort of like a family <coughs> getting a million inheriting a million dollars, okay? And they say, well, uh, we're just doing great. Uh, we're, um, we've bought three cars, we've got two houses. Uh, we're gonna take a trip to Europe. And somebody says, well, that's great, that's progress. But hey, if you keep doing that, uh, we're going to have nothing at all in, say, four years. And humanity is, is if it gets doing this, it's on, and living off that resource base, you know, it's living. We live off the rest of life. We eat it. We get our air from it. Everything. If we keep spending it, just with using it up, uh, we're we're going to be in deep trouble. If an alien were watching planet Earth over a period of tens of thousands of years, what what would it look like? You mean if... Uh, if an alien were looking at our arrival on the scene of planet Earth and our impact on planet Earth. You want to know what the world will be like in 10,000 years? Well, if we, uh, if yeah, we keep let's, doing let's what there. we're while, doing while now? While I'm depressed, we might as well speculate. Uh, well, um, 10,000 years. If we kept doing what we're doing now... I will think we last that long? That's my point. I was trying to think of a poetic way to put it. <laughs> no, we wouldn't last that long. Not by. There might be still Look, some so, human I mean, human beings because... that's around here, but they wouldn't around the world and here and there. But they wouldn't be living very happy lives because they would, they'd be living in a desert. So, what's the solution? What can we do? What can what can individuals do? What can societies do? What can countries do? Wake up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, include saving the living world with our long-range plans. It's very simple. I mean, the more we learn about the living world, the more these adventures that we have of learning and science, and, and the more we conserve what we have, and we can do that without really stopping progress or quality of, you know, getting a better and better quality of life. It's just knowing what to do, you know, knowing what's out there, how we're affecting it, how we can use it, how we can manage it without killing it all off. 